The Grand Junction Regional Airport is millions of dollars richer after some help from Washington. Through President Biden's American Rescue Plan Act, GJT just received a grant to fund airport relief. Carrie X5's Chan Stickland spoke with one airport official to see how the money will be used as record numbers of travelers pack airports once again. He joins us from the airport with the latest. Chance. Lena, with more and more Americans getting vaccinated, that means more and more travelers are willing to fly the friendlier skies. But in order to get to your destination safely and on time, you must get to your gate on time. And that is just one of many areas the funds will help improve. Most people are in a hurry to get to their desired location to see family and friends. The fastest way to get there and hug loved ones is by plane. 16,000 Coloradans from the western slope will be taking to the nation's skies this weekend, and airport officials are asking all travelers to wear a mask when in the terminal and to travel safe. Passengers aren't the only ones excited about traveling again. Airport officials are too now that the feds handed Grand Junction Regional Airport a little more than $3 million. This grant truly is intended to fill gaps in those revenue shortfalls, make sure that we can continue to operate efficient, efficiently, not have to cut costs, cut staff, um, and really just maintain the same level of service that our passengers are used to. With international travel back open, millions of Americans are packing airports across the country, and the Western Slope is no exception. GJT had more travelers last month than any time in the airport's history. In our 91 years, um, October 2021 is the current record holder um, for one month worth of activity. So in October, we saw almost 56,000 passengers. The Grand Junction Regional Airport is not taxpayer funded, so the more travelers, the more profit. Vaccination levels are relatively high, you know, higher every day. And so consumers have more and more confidence traveling. In the past two years or during the span of the COVID-19 pandemic, the Grand Junction Regional Airport has received $60 million in federal grant money from Washington. But for now, reporting live from Grand Junction Regional Airport and first on the Western Slope, I'm Chance Stickland with CARRIEX 5 News.